I just went over the <laughs> curb. It's a tiny curb. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're going to uh, Aussie. Yeah, so I know it's a little late, about 12:20, but uh, John and I we drink coffee uh, quite a bit, so we are gonna go test it out. If you haven't been, super cool spot. Um, I actually didn't go to it for like the first year that it was open, just because there's so many coffee spots around, and I just didn't care to go. But uh, missing out because there's some really good coffee. All right, guys, uh, nuts. it's time. We're actually gonna make it. Don't have a watch, but it's about noon time. We're gonna head out to the Aussie Bean for some good coffee. in here we got in here about it's noon time give or take and it was slammed and it was super slammed busy. super busy um little spot here in old town orange right across from the filling station been and here for i think they've been here since 2016 but i think that actually the owner because i remember going to the uh, the farmer's market mm. like three four years ago and they had like a little trailer hookup so they would just serve coffee at the farmer's market and then they're they had this eye on this place and so that's how it, then they finally got their stand-up shop or whatever here. Yep. The owner, I think his name is Gavin Wilkinson. Um, so he said, I guess he's from Australia, and so he said that the coffee experience in the um, United States is crummy, which is true, <laughs> entirely true. I mean, yeah. I think coffee here, for the majority sucks, especially like Starbucks is like McDonald's of coffee. Yeah. So there's a lot of fillers, a lot of chemicals. Careful though, because there's a lot of Starbucks like lovers out there, but typically I, those lovers are not, they're like, they love the cream, the sugar, the sweet. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Whereas like, we're talking pure black gold here. Just, Except I'm, well, let's see, let's talk about what you got too. So yeah, you got, I got, they have two types of, if, you, if you're a straight black, love black coffee, you can do the long drip or the long- Long black. The long black, which is just espresso shots with water, basically an Americano. Yep. And then you can just do a straight drip, which they take these beans, they do some, do a little pour over action on it. And it's just, it's really sweet. You get all those notes of all, almonds, whatever. Um, it's good. It's like you don't get any bitterness and it's just really, really quality coffee. So um, yeah, if you're a good coffee, like if you love coffee and you're here around in the Old Town Orange area, like this is this is the spot. This well, the spot. Then, well, there's a couple other spots, but, but this is a good spot. This is, one of the, this is one of the spots we hit up pretty pretty much almost, I don't know, see, three, four, three, three four, four times a week. Three, four times sure. a week. So. And then for those people who don't, I usually drink what John's drinking. Yeah. I'm an Americana guy, but I went with a chai today. So in case you guys are going to get anything that has some sweetness to it, the chai is amazing. And I did it with two extra shots of espresso in it because I needed that extra caffeine pickup. But it's amazing. It's probably one of the best chais I've ever had. So. Yep. So, anyways, what we were saying is they got um, small breakfast items. They got the avo toast. They got some blueberry muffins. They got veggie like mite. Veggie mite. And if you're into that, dude, maybe we should do is. a veggie mite. Oh no. Session. I don't even know what it is. Nor do I want to try. It's gross. It's really <laughs> gross. Uh, <laughs> but if any Australians out here, like they love it. Yeah. Dude, like they love it. Catherine was telling me about how she like they did, they did like a veggie mite challenge. Does she like it? No, it's disgusting. What is it supposed to taste like? I don't know. We should probably do a, a tasting of it sometime. Why don't we um, just do it now? Should we do it now? Should we order it? But I guess you have to put it on toast, right? I don't know. I'm going to order it. I'll be back. No. <laughs> I want to taste it. I want to taste it. I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> All right. So I just ordered the Vegemite with toast. He recommended that it... He, he recommended that I should get it with the avo toast because it's kind of... He says it takes the kick away, 
which I don't know what that means, but well, they said usually it's, it's served with like it's served like with toast, butter, and then Vegemite, and that's like the typical like breakfast thing. Well, I'm I'm, I'm allergic to bread. I'm allergic to avocado, so. Well, you're gonna have no. I just got a regular toast with the Vegemite. So. I think he said you recommend with avocado. So why didn't you get with avocado? Because I wanted to go raw with it. Oh, oh, I wanted to, dude. dude. No, you gotta go with the recommendations. Are you kidding me? No, we're gonna. Because they don't have butter. Do they have butter here? No, that's why they said. Yeah, exactly. So you go with the. We're next gonna go bit. raw, dude. So we'll let the people know that I bet they should get it with all the, all the next time. <laughs> people in Australia probably don't even. They do. I've seen it, no, dude. Just, just raw. They do with butter. Exactly. So well, maybe some people like it normally without butter. No, we're gonna try it how it is, dude. I mean, I want to, I want to get the authentic experience. I'm not excited about this. Um, so we're gonna see how that comes. It's gonna come out here in a minute, and then uh, I don't know. I'll let you let you know how it is because I've never had Vegemite. In fact, I don't even know what it looks like. I just recall uh, the scene from I Love Lucy where she eats Vegemite, and then that's about it. So, and I, I it's disgusting. I so. wasn't born at that time. Apparently, John was. You didn't watch that. <laughs> I Love Lucy. I'm still okay. What's wrong with you, dude? Lucy. Anyway, so. Once we get that, we'll let you know how it is. Yep. And, um, peace. Peace for now. Peace for now. We ordered the Vegemite. We got it. This is what it looks like. Apparently, you're supposed to eat it with butter. You're supposed to eat it with a little bit of butter. Um, they don't have butter here. So he said the way to do it is to give it a little, uh, cut it, cut it with a little bit of this avo, a little salt and pepper. We're just going straight raw, though. Straight raw. Right. Uh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Okay, that's really gross. It tastes like soy sauce. It tastes like industrial olives. <laughs> what is that? Industrial olives. It's I like, like really, right? <laughs> like, it tastes like salty olives that were manufactured in a plant. Uh, I think you have. I think you have to put. You have. I mean, I don't think it's honestly it's not, it's not as that bad. bad as I thought it was gonna be. What is exactly? What did you read on? What did you read? It's like a yeast extract with vegetable and spices. Yeast a extract with vegetable and spices, so it's apparently healthy for you. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. No. You retract that statement right now. It doesn't mean it's it's healthy. Actually, for you. because it's kind of so it's like really salty, like with the avo, like a plain avocado. Actually, like it's tolerable. I mean, I could do it. See, I actually dig it. It's actually, it's actually, with some avocado, it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. A little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. A little salt bay. Mmm. <laughs> All right. I'm a bet you might fan now. <laughs> Dude, that's solid. Okay. Final answer. Vegemite by itself, nasty. Vegemite with avocado. Great. Amazing. Um, I, mean, I can't eat bread, but I'm not, I'm not stopping. So that's the verdict, guys. Don't just get the Vegemite. Get it with avocado if you come here. Let us know if you've had Vegemite. Comment below because, man. I'm a fan. It's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan. So, Dude, with butter, it would be really good, too. No, butter would be really good. Anyways, that's about it. We're out. We got black coffee, chai, chai a little Vegemite. Dirty chai. The Aussie Bean here in Old Town Orange. Come check it out. Really, really good um, coffee. The coffee's excellent. And um, I can't yeah, stop eating this. Gavin, if you're seeing this, hopefully you can invite us back so we can do a proper review. I want to hear from you, bro. I want to hear from you, bro. I want to get to know you, man. I want to get to know you, dude. I hit you up. So, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. I love this, dude.